always heard that uh, there is always a ray of light at the end of every dark tunnel. Um, PT for me was this dark tunnel and the ray of light was of not giving up. Hey everybody, Varun here from Language Academy. Guys, very excited to have Ruchi with me. Eight each in her PT exam. Perfect 90 in listening, 88 in writing, 82 in speaking and 79 in reading. Congratulations, Ruchi. Thank you. Very well done. Um, I've seen you working hard from last two to three months. You have really put in a lot of effort. I am really inspired. I saw you every day. You used to finish work at 5. You used to be here at 5.30. You used to sit here till 9, 9.30. And it takes you around one hour to get home as well. Ruchi, you were missing by one or two points every time. How did you keep yourself going on? Because normally when students miss by one or two points, right, they feel like giving up. How did you keep yourself going on? Um, thank you, Varun, for having me here. Um, I would like to start by a saying where I've always seen and I've always heard that uh, there is always a ray of light at the end of every dark tunnel. Um, PT for me was this dark tunnel and the ray of light was of not giving up. I would say the three, there were three main factors that kept me going. Um, there have been a number of attempts and you, you have been a part of that journey as well. I would say there are three main factors. The very first factor is that um, I always believed in myself, but then I used to always crib about it that um, every time I used to miss by one or two marks or I was I used to not get marks in reading I used to always come and tell Varun that you know is it worth giving a try again it's been so many attempts that uh, I've been through and then he used to always tell me that you know just don't give up so um, for the last attempt uh, if I would believe in myself 90% and 10% was the luck that I was carrying with me I made it um, sure that the 96% is my own instinct and my belief and the 4% I wanted to give only on the luck. So that's what helped me out when I was uh, doing reading this time. I made sure that I am not going to overthink. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to um, feel that way that, okay, this is what it is. There are other options as well, which I'm feeling that they are right. But whatever I felt at the very first go, I went with that, even though I felt that the other answer might be correct. But then I was like, no, I believed that little 6% in me. Mm -hmm. the, the second um, factor that kept me going is the staff over here and uh, Varun especially has been the part of the entire journey of mine. And um, every time I would not get marks, I, would, I used to call him and I used to be like, I did not get the marks. And he used to be like, he used to give me that greed that come tomorrow and I'm going to make you solve few more questions. And I used to feel that, okay, what I'm going to do, sit at home and then do, all I'm going to do is do the repeated questions and everything. The last thing that worked out for me was the questions that the set he gave. We solved like somewhere around four to five question That's sets. Mm -hmm. He used to make sure that we did not see the answers. And every time when I was solving that question set, um, I was believing a little bit in me. I was believing the first instinct that I got because I had no other options. I didn't knew any single question uh, that was getting repeated. There were no single question that got repeated. Mm. Um, I've solved more than 400 questions in React for blanks and I've done them more than like three, four times. Mm. And that's when I was like, every time I used to see the question, I used to be like, oh, I've solved this. But here I knew that I have not even solved one single question. Mm. So that kept me going. Mm. The, the third factor was the, the environment over here, the aura that um, the students create. Because you see left, right, front and back, you see all everyone doing their own task. Everyone has got their own struggle. And that is something that kept me going that um, instead of staying alone at home, I used to come here uh, three, four hours of only working towards my goal, um, not even touching the phone or even if we could see at the phone, they are there to come and tell you that what are you doing? No chit chatting, nothing. So three, four hours is only you're working towards your own goal. You're giving yourself more and more time. You're giving your goal more time. So these are the three factors that kept me going. Thanks for that, Richie. Very well said. Um, one very important point which I take out of your journey is having the right environment. Yeah, because yeah. if you don't get the score and if you are just by yourself, the thousands of thoughts which come to your mind. Right. You feel like um, I look for alternatives like you even told should I go for IELTS. Yeah, right? yeah. So whenever you're by yourself, you have a number of things distracting you, right? Yes. So it's very important you have the right environment and you are focused that yes, this is my goal and I have to achieve it. Another thing, not just practicing the repeated material again and again. Yes. If you do that, if you've done it once and we are asking you to do it again, you know the answers. Yes. You're not focusing on the logic or reasoning. And 
what i believe is that this exam is not just about your english it's more about reasoning as well yes. right yes. when it comes to blanks sometimes one blank or one word won't really make any sense but you have to figure out the logic over there right? yes. so yes. very important you practice things which are not just repeated or things which you have not done already if you're just practicing the same things over and over again it won't be of any use you're not increasing or working on your understanding you're just cramming things and we can't really rely on repeated Repeat, material in the yes, exam yes. right you may not even get a single thing over there and if that happens that's the case things can be difficult things can be difficult ruchi a perfect 19 listening what do you think what was the factor behind a perfect 19 listening um i would say that uh, the practice that i did for my repeat sentences uh, right from dictations where I, i used to hardly miss a word or two in uh, right from dictation the very important part for me was um the the feedback that I, that i used to get for my summarized spoken text mm. they were the best ones because um i know that how many times i've asked you that why we are uh, why, where we have to put a colon where we have to put a dash uh, why we have what what is going to be capital what is not going to be capital and writing all the words and everything so so that really worked out for me because i got three summarized um, uh, sp- uh, written text spoken text and that's when i knew that um, i knew that okay this is i'm not I've, i'm not even going to make one single mistake in that mm. because everything worked out so well for me uh, the, the keywords were good i i knew how to pick up the keywords i knew what to write mm. i knew how to write that was the most important thing so so i would say that everything worked well i i did get uh, four difficult repeat sentences but mm. the strategies that uh, the tutors have told me here that just to pick or try to pick 50 to 80% of it and the rest just not to miss your fluency or anything like that you can add another sentences so that really worked out for me that's right yeah. that's right guys very very important even if you're not doing repeat sentence perfectly you can get a perfect 19 listening so what you need to do you just need to follow the right strategies over there and summarize spoken text one point which i really like that you were ready for it you knew what are the mistakes rather than focusing on doing everything correct you knew that yes these are the mistakes, mistakes. and this is what i have to avoid yes. and if you know that there's no chance you'll have any error in your exam ruchi you have taken a number of mock tests finally let's talk a bit about mock tests why are mock tests important i would say the one thing that i've learned here is that even if you're giving full mock test or sectional mock test uh the the feedback that you're going to get after every mock test is important uh, they check each and every question and if they, i i still know that you go through every read aloud every repeat sentence and describe image and you'll give every each each and every feedback um i would say that when you're doing a uh, sectional mock test it's not like the consistency is going to be there sometimes you're going to get 75 sometimes you're going to get 80 but uh the feedback is what that matters because uh, they know what they are doing and we know where we are making mistakes because they are there to tell us mm. so so i would say um the the feedback is really important uh, being consistent on your sectional mock test is very important i'm not i'm not um, said ever a no to give any mock test or anything mm. like that i would i would always be that okay fine even if i'm investing one hour of mine in doing one sectional mock test um, i know the feedback is going to help me out mm. at the end of the day mm. so that's how i used to take it and that's how it worked out for me that's right guys very important it's not just about taking the mock test it's more about um you know evaluating yourself coming to know what mistakes you're making yes. because when you are doing a single task by itself but when you do the mock test by the full mock test or sectional mock test that's a different in my environment yes. right yes. one task you'll do it perfectly but when you have to do everything all together you have time pressure you have stress you're nervous as well yes. and you tend to make more mistakes very important you take mock test but don't just sit for the mock test make sure you have proper feedback that yes once you are done with the mock test you get something out of it if you are just taking the mock test but you don't know what mistakes you're making you're not it's not really worth it right you need to get value out of it and value with will come with the feedback and if you have the right feedback you'll work in the right direction all the best for your nati now Thank you so much. congratulations once again guys make sure you have right strategies right feedback and then you get the right environment and you will be the next one to get 8 each like she has got thanks guys that's it from this video i'll see you very soon